Hey guys, just want to give you guys an update as to what, how I'm going with my sobriety and how it's, it's been. Um, I just want to say that uh, today is uh, March 31st. It's been about 90 plus days uh, since I have uh, stopped drinking. Um, it's been very, very difficult. If you guys want to know how difficult it's been, it's been very difficult for me to quit drinking because, uh, um, you know, as you know, times are very odd. Uh, India is in a shutdown. I'm not going to work. I'm just at the, in the house the whole day. I have so much time to myself and there's not much socializing. I hang out with my family, but that's that, you know. So um, I do at times feel like, um, what else can I do? So I start reading, I work out um, almost every day. I try to walk within the house, um, whatever little I can. There are small steps, but they are steps nonetheless. I walk around, I, I try to do various things, but sobriety is really, 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 really boring me right now. I'm very bored. I feel like I should have 10 drinks, not one. And um, I never think about having just one drink or two drinks or three drinks. I always think, let's have 10, man. I think the problem is I don't like to limit myself in life. I, I feel limits are for others and I am not one of the others. I feel I'm an extraordinary person and maybe because of this false sense of self I feel like I should drink a lot and probably drown myself in drinks you know um, I also think um, I had a very close call recently I was just about to drink I was just done man I this is like day before yesterday I was like okay dude I want to throw the towel in this is too boring I have 15 17 days more to live in the house and I need to actually get some outlet have some outlet because this is not fun you know and uh, then I somehow spoke with a friend and he said, you've come so far, why do you want to fritter away the advantage? Um, the difference between a successful person and an unsuccessful person is that a successful person lives up to what he says he will do. He doesn't waver in his um, stretch. And uh, so he talked me out of drinking. And so I did not drink. But I'm not saying it was easy. It was very fucking difficult. Um, oh, my God. So, um, yeah, as of right now, I'm, I think I'm cured again. I'm happy I had such a down, uh, you know, this is the, the closest I've come to drinking. And you guys will be happy to know that 90 days is the maximum I've ever been. Um, I lasted this uh, on 15th uh, August uh, 2015. I went from 15th August 2015, uh, 2018, sorry. 2018, 15th August to 15th November uh, 2018, I was sober. Um, I think that lasted exactly 90 days. That was um, something which I had done consciously saying that, okay, three months is going to be my target. And three months at that time seemed like a very long time. <laughs> and today also three months is a very long time of not drinking. Um, I am very scared about the next nine months. So if you see me drinking in the next nine months, don't be surprised. However, right now I'm feeling very refreshed and uh, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I know not many people watch these updates on my sobriety, but it's just how it is. And um, yeah, man, um, I also realized I feel the sense of shame when it comes to alcohol, which I don't feel for anything else you know, in life. And I don't understand that shame. I think that shame is because I know how bad it is for me, how bad I am as an alcohol. I, I mean... I can't handle my alcohol, man. I really can't. I mean, I go overboard and I, I lie to myself every single time saying, oh, you know what? This time it's going to be different because I've been sober for a month. This time I'm going to be different because I've been sober for two months. This time it's going to be different because, you know, I'm doing well at work, whatever. I talk myself and give myself so many excuses. But I think I have a problem with alcohol. That said, I'm never quitting for good, at least not right now. I'm just quit for nine more months. Oh, my God. I don't know how those are going to last. Help me. Pray for me. Um, the advantage, advantages are obviously that you have more time in the day, you get to read more often, you sleep much better, you are able to work out, you're able to not, uh, you're able to keep, uh, you know, quiet when you have to, you're able to talk when you have to, you're able to think more, yara, 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 screw all the advantages, fuck all the advantages, I don't give a fuck about them right now, you know. Because I'm going through my own uh, predicament right now, as I'm sure all of you are. I'm sure all of you are drinking. Uh, having said that, I have so many bottles of liquor in my house, you know. Um, I mean, I know they are hidden or whatever, but I can easily take them out. But then a bottle can be lying next to me. It's up to me if I want to drink it. 
like there's a bottle of uh, Captain Morgan like literally 10 meters from me like in my bar there's another bottle of some uh, whiskey but there's only 20 ml left so these things are there you know um i don't want to i don't i don't want to mess it up man i don't want to mess it up it's it'll be really tragic if i do you know i just want to keep going with the sobriety what are you guys up to are you guys drinking um are you guys not drinking are you guys drinking moderately i think the most boring people are the ones who drink moderately like what's the use man like stop sorry dude i'm very dramatic right now i'm very uh, actually i'm not sorry i'm not sorry i take my sorry back I apologize. I don't apologize. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm all over the place. I'm just uploading a video right now based on some MacBook test I did.